Topping our news at four, Hillary Clinton just finished speaking at Wayne State for a voter registration drive. However, she'll be on campus for a while to ensure voters register in time for tomorrow's deadline. Our Paula Topman is live from Midtown Detroit this afternoon. Paula, how was the turnout? Well, the turnout was very, very good. In fact, people were lined out, uh, lined up, I should say, outside the athletic complex uh, probably around, I don't know, well before 11 o'clock this morning. Listen, this is do or die time. We're at go. And uh, young people and young voters, first time voters in particular, uh, also when you think about the burners, those people who supported Bernie Sanders, they're the people who are going to make a difference in this election. Now, the bottom line is voter registration ends tomorrow. So uh, her speaking here today was as much a get out the vote rally and a register to vote rally as it was to pull out absolutely every single stop. She hit on uh, college tuition. She, of course, talked about those vile tapes, those recordings of Donald Trump in which he was talking about hitting on women. Uh, she talked about his overseas businesses and the fact that if he cared about workers, he would bring those jobs right here to Michigan. She talked about making Michigan a manufacturing quarter. And let's face it, this crowd was absolutely receptive. I thought President Obama was pretty accurate when he was talking about how Detroit is coming back. And that's thanks to a lot of people. And it's going to really depend upon the young people of this university and this city to build a future that we can all not only be proud of, but be part of. And I will tell you this, if I'm so fortunate enough as to be your president come next January, I will be your partner. And there she is right there. You can see her in the purple suit. You can see her in the purple suit greeting the crowd. Uh, she's really spending quite a bit of time here. Again, this was her first post-debate stop. Of course, she had things to say about the debate last night, repeating when they go low, we go high. Her next stop is Ohio. Let me tell you why this is so pivotal, Karen. And that is because when you take a look at recent polls, her numbers are actually up in Ohio but only by 0.5, that's a half a point. Here's the thing, when you take a look at that electoral map, she doesn't have to win Ohio, but she will want to because there's no way for Donald Trump to win the White House without Ohio. Obviously, we'll have more at five and six. I will see you then. For now, I'll throw it back to you, Karen. All right, thank you very much, Paula. Meantime, the gloves came off and Donald Trump came out swinging in last night's second debate against Hillary Clinton. On everyone's mind, that 11-year-old access Hollywood's sexually crude tape, but Trump turned that controversy into attacks against Bill and Hillary Clinton. No handshake at the start, and that 11-year-old sexually crude tape on everyone's mind. This was locker room talk. It represents exactly who he is. But Donald Trump was pointing well, his fingers at Bill Clinton. There's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive to women. The Trump campaign brought three women who had made sexual accusations against Clinton to the debate, but said it was all about his opponent. This does not have to do with Bill Clinton. It has to do with the way Hillary Clinton shamed and blamed the women. Um, in Bill Clinton's life. The vulgar tape is hurting the GOP nominee. In a new NBC News Wall Street Journal national poll taken just before the debate, Clinton's lead widened to 11 points, 46 to Trump's 35 percent. But Trump's running mate is staying with him. I believe in redemption. I believe in second chances. Clinton's campaign says she wants to, to focus on to important implement. matters. Hillary came to this debate to talk about the issues, uh, to talk about the policies and plans that she has that are going to make a difference in people's lives. Trump. With many Republicans Justice fleeing Scalia. the Trump ship, the brash Great. billionaire stayed Judge. on the offensive, attacking yeah, Clinton's use of a private like email server while right Secretary now. of State. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Clinton again said Trump is unfit to be president. Republican leaders held a conference call this morning with House Speaker Paul Ryan saying he will no longer defend Trump or campaign with him, but will focus on trying to win local congressional races.